guys, so girl, <laughs> there's a reason why I look the way I look. So yesterday we held a little bitty get together. I don't even want to call it that because we literally only invited two kids that are in here in the neighborhood to celebrate JB's birthday and it was a 80s theme and I'm the only person that dressed up like I was from the 80s and so I, yeah, I showed that girl. Um, so anyway, y'all, this is a random chit chat. My notes are somewhere else. I'm looking all over, girl. Is that a, I'm laughing because there's a Pat Benatar record in front of me. John, honey, my child is very eccentric. Um, JB is an old soul, and when I tell you he has, I don't know if you guys were, if you've been following me, I don't know if y'all saw it. one of my blogs a couple of months ago, he showed some of his old school collection it's even worse. I mean, he has one of those huge camcorders from the 80s, a rotary phone now. <sighs> yeah, it's out of control, his little collection. He gets so excited to show people his collection. You know, he, and half the time, no one is interested unless they're over 40, you know what I mean? So anyway, y'all, didn't know if I wanted to do this chit chat or not, but I haven't done a chit chat in a while. This coffee is whack as hell. I'm gonna have to redo it. It's watery. I'm gonna have to redo it. So anyway, y'all, um, we're gonna talk about you know what's going on at home, home life, what's going on, um, what I've been watching on YouTube, and what I've been watching on TV. Okay, so home life, same old, same old. Like I said, we had a little thing for JB yesterday. His birthday is really on the 13th. It is the 9th or 10th. It's the 10th. Um, I was very, very busy at work for the past couple of weeks or so. Been extremely busy at work. And honey, we told 2021 to come in here, don't touch nothing, don't say nothing, and sit down. And her ass didn't do that. So, Trump supporters... I'm going to call it how it is because if it was the other way around, they would be labeled as such. They are rioters. They were terrorists, in my opinion, who stormed the Capitol and managed to get their way through. Now, from what I understand now at this point, there have been four people that have died. One police officer. And um, I, like I told y'all before in some of my other uh, videos, I am open to all types of people and um, opinions, but at this point, I have no patience for the foolery. So if I see any of my friends, I don't care who you are, I don't care what type of relationship we have in your past, if I see any type of foolery coming on my feed, block, delete. That's the position I'm in right now because there is no excuses for the behavior that occurred a couple of days ago in this country. It is absolutely embarrassing. I'm not gonna go down that path right now because I'm pretty sure y'all tired of hearing it and seeing it, but it's crazy, absolutely crazy. And um, some of my friends who are really into the political atmosphere said that they, they are not surprised that it, this has happened. I'm surprised, so maybe I'm just out of touch. So y'all, that is occurring. Um, uh, it's so funny. Yesterday, my, my little sister sent me a text message talking about, do you want to go on a road trip? I would love anything to get the hell out of Phoenix, but girl, no. We in the middle of a, of a pandemic, Ramika. Can't go on a road trip. She talking about, you want to go? She she said, we're just going to be in the car. We're going to go to, uh, we can go to Arizona. I think she said Atlanta. I'm like, Atlanta? Hell no. <laughs> I'm not visiting the black capital of the world right now. Um... Now, I will say if she drives out here and I'm okay with taking them up to Sedona, you know what I mean, y'all, or girl, this hair, I'm okay with us all driving up to Sedona, but I am not leaving the state, not in the situation we're in right now. It is absolutely crazy with the numbers. Um, like I said, I'm, I, maybe I didn't say this, but I'm actually off. I'm on PTO right now. And typically for JB's birthday, we do something. Like our birthdays in general, we do something. You know, we either go out of town. My husband's like, well, he doesn't even want us going out to dinner. I'm like, really? I'm going to see if I can persuade him to see if we could go out to dinner, if we can eat outside, you know. Because we are going to do breakfast, but breakfast, there's going to be hardly nobody there. Um, 
for dinner he's not so sure of and i'm not gonna argue with my husband y'all he's he's on the front line he's one of the people that you know he's in the hospital working he's testing he's running they're running the tests on this stuff so he has first hand on what's going on so i'm not gonna argue with him if he's saying it's not safe to do that it's not but yeah ramika girl i'm gonna send her a text message here in a second say if y'all come down here okay but we're gonna be driving up to sedona i'm not going to to california or whatever i'm not going outside of the state at this point no man pam um besides that y'all nothing else you know homeschooling is going well um, i'm going to switch up the curriculum a little bit math is a struggle for me because we went out of common core honey jb calls common core common crap <laughs> We moved from common core to just regular traditional basic math, hell. So I think I will also in third grade introduce him to um, typing. And, but I'm gonna get him a typewriter. That's all that's going on in home life. Um, um, losing weight still, I'm sitting at 167. I still have quite a bit of weight to lose, and let's just be honest. Um, probably around 15, 15, 20 pounds. Yeah, because I'm short, y'all. I'm not that tall. Um, one thing I will say, okay, so those of you who don't know, I had a breast reduction a couple of years ago. I know this is TMI. My breasts have changed again. It's really interesting, like, the shape of my breasts have changed. So immediately when I had my breast reduction, they were hard and stiff. I looked like, I would look very square. So they hadn't dropped. About a year into it, they dropped. But then I started experiencing some issues like eczema, really bad eczema and dry skin. And it was only with the breast tissue that was new. So on under the nipple and down was literally turning purple because it was so dry and inflamed went to a dermatologist they gave me medication so every now and then almost every day that has cleared up but still because i live in a dry area every day i have to lotion up girl and then come to find out that you could actually get um a ye yeast infection or yeast i don't want to say a yeast infection but yeast can actually grow i guess it is a yeast infection on your breast i had no idea that could happen um so again, girl, what's the point? My breasts have changed and they have gotten bigger. So I don't know if it's because I'm losing weight and they appear bigger. Maybe that's what it is. Girl, use common sense. Yeah, that's what it is. Because my, I'm losing weight, they appear bigger. So, uh, either, uh, well, I'm at a full size C, small D. Um, before I was a double E, tri triple D, double E. Um, so when I had my breast reduction to y'all, he also did some lipo on the side, my sides here, which was, I'm like, good. Um, so yeah, isn't that interesting? I didn't know that. I thought that since it's been such a while that, wow, my, why are my breasts still changing? So yeah, yeah, enough of that. Enough of talking about titties. Um, <laughs> what I'm watching on YouTube really nothing y'all i'm gonna try to go through my history now this is funny uh yesterday i called a girl that's your video calm the hell down you y'all i'm paranoid as hell yesterday i called angel aka nizzy naps because okay um a couple of months no a couple of weeks ago she was like do you have this new uh she saw an icon on her YouTube channel and she's like, do you have that? I said, no, I don't have that. So we were discussing it and so we call it the unfriended. Now we refer to it as the unfriended icon. And she's like, girl, you, you I don't want to get it. So I asked Busby if she had it. She didn't have it, but she said she wanted it. But me and Angel, we paranoid as hell. We didn't want it. So girl, why did I log into my YouTube account yesterday and I had it? I had the unfriended icon. So I call Angel. I said, look here, hussy. I, <laughs> um, I didn't call her that, but that's how we talk to each other, right? I'm like, girl, I got the, un I've been unfriended. And then and I know it's because of your ass. <laughs> Y'all remember that scary movie, Unfriended? She started laughing. I'm like, yeah, I know it's because of your ass. Yeah, you, you did it. <laughs> 
but now nah, it's an icon where you get in contact as a content creator i can get in contact with youtube um customer service for assistance on my channel if need to be and nah, i don't need no help hell y'all let me see what i'm looking at on youtube nothing looking at um i'm just looking at my history uh watching keeping up with appearances this is all JB's history, child. Nintendo, Nintendo. He was listening to 80s music, y'all, JB. So I haven't been watching YouTubers. Now, as far as TV go, girl. So I finally finished Bridgerton. Y'all, it was giving me everything that I needed. I'm gonna try not to say too much, but honey, Duke, the duke y'all those scenes now normally i know me i don't do a lot of sex but it wasn't necessarily it wasn't too raunchy the the sex scenes in um in bridgerton it wasn't really too raunchy and i will have to say that um it was a lot though it was a lot but child afterwards i was like we need a damn castle i mean damn i mean they were all up in the library in the meadows in the um in the in the rain i was like well damn i'm like i need some long gloves or something i, I need those white gloves that she was wearing so my husband can take them off of me that's what <laughs> i need some white gloves y'all that's what because that was sexy as hell he's fine the guy and the man that plays him is absolutely he's fine he's young i know me i, I like him a little old and demented but yeah, I feel like the Duke, oh, I feel so bad for his character. Girl, I will say this tea, This is gonna be, you know, I'm gonna go there. Honey, his pull-out game is strong. I was like, <laughs> girl, I was like, but the thing that, that's really interesting is that she didn't know what was going on. And she didn't know what was going on while he was doing it. So she thought maybe he was in pain. And she would ask him when they were done having sex, are you in pain, dear? Did it hurt? A girl, I can't do no English accent. And so she finally, meaning his wife, the Duchess, is her name Daphne? Y'all, yeah, Daphne Bridgerton. She finally asked, well, she, did she ask a maid? Yeah, one of her, well, her maid, I believe, or her, I don't even want to call her a maid. She asked someone, how do you make a baby, basically? Because she didn't know. And it makes a lot of sense. During this period, a lot of young women um, had no idea how children are conceived. And so when she told her, so I'm not going to give too much, y'all, because I'm already giving some spoilers away. So, yes, love the show. Now, I do know people are up in arms about there being a black queen. So, Queen Charlotte is black. One thing I do appreciate about this show is that, you know, you had um, uh, black socialites and you had, uh, it's very diverse because there was also Asian actors in the, in the series. <clears throat> and excuse me, this is on Netflix, by the way. So, Lady Danbury, I was for, I was here for those heavily arched eyebrows. I was still here for, but baby, when I tell you, I literally gagged at at Queen Charlotte's wigs, honey. When she came out in that yellow gown and that twenty inch afro wig, I was like, <laughs> my my lady, my my grace, yes, come through. Honey, that wig was everything. And she was walking around like, this is normal for me. This is normal. I I'm here. I'm here to slay. Yes, I love the wigs. She had so many beautiful wigs. I absolutely love the costumes. Um, the cinematography was beautiful too. Well, you know, where, the, where it was filmed at was beautiful. And I absolutely enjoyed the re revelation at the end of who la Lady, what's her name? Lady Whistledown was. I actually, I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I actually kinda wonder, I'm like, I'm wondering if she would be the gossip columnist. Basically y'all, those of you who are not familiar, familiar, Lady Whistledown is almost like their TMZ of the 18, you know, 18, 13, wherever this is set in. And so every week or so she has this printed column that comes out and it goes, it, it covers all of the latest news and scandalous news that's going on in their little city, right? And so no one knows who Lady Whistledown is, but one of the characters 
is trying to figure out and the queen wants to know too so at the very end of the series we get to know you know it's revealed who lady whistle down is and i kind of guess that was her but i was like no Mm -mm. So yes, I cannot wait for season two. I think we have to wait another year for it, right? Uh, it is what it is, y'all. Loved it. That's the only thing I've been watching, y'all. Um, we did catch Soul. I purposely got Disney so that JB could watch Soul. Child, after I had one or two glasses of wine, fell asleep, woke up, I saw a damn cat talking. I'm like, what the? I said, JB, are you still watching this? JB was still up. He said, Yeah, yeah, Mama. I fell back to sleep. Woke up and the movie was going off. I said, JB, was it good? He said, no, mama. I said, well, why did you sit here and watch it all, baby? He said, because you you had it on here. I'm like, oh, he's so sweet, y'all. So JB didn't like Soul, <laughs> but he still watched it. Now what I do want to watch next, and I need to buy Showtime. Do I gotta buy Showtime, y'all? I gotta add Showtime to Hulu. Let me ask that now, your honor. I'm gonna go ahead and add Showtime to Hulu because my one of y'all mentioned the show and then yesterday my neighbor was giving me a precursor of it what is it about y'all who is in it um <clears throat> brian cranston from um breaking bad the the guy from there Brian Cranston, is that how you say his name? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my, I just have to add the premium subscription to my Hulu. I'll be watching that and I'll be telling y'all how I feel about it. Again, it's called Your Honor and you can get it through Showtime, but you can also just add Showtime to whatever package you have. So yeah, y'all, that is it. Um, it's early, I got this nasty old coffee. I'm gonna fix my coffee again baby this hair one of my neighbors saw my hair she said you know what that hair that you have in your ponytail that's one person's hair <laughs> i said i know this is what she's like that that could be all my hair i said i know i know yeah yeah it's cute though so all right you guys my voice is cracking thank you so much for watching take care